going to come to you, uh, Mr. Pandey, with some of the points that Mr. Sippy brought up. Uh, you know, uh, sort of the gaps that uh, perhaps only the government can fill to a certain extent in terms of doing away with certain regulation that's holding industry back. For instance, 2,000 films produced, 500 odd making into theaters. One part of it is, of course, is, you know, the long drawn out certification uh, process. The other, uh, perhaps, is not enough uh, screens, not enough incentives to uh, build uh, multiplexes. What should we do? What should, uh, you know, uh, we do in terms of very tangible uh, things that can transform uh, the industry here in India? It's been long due. The digital screens in India, uh, at least 20,000 more need to be added uh, straight away. And for that, most of the regulations come with the local government. And some of those regulations are actually uh, quite dated. And we need to revisit them. Because when you can carry now a mobile, uh, even while you are at home and even now in schools and colleges, you see children carrying the mobile. Now, some of those distance regulations and other things, they need to be revisited. Second important point is the fast clearances, because... Uh, that is only something that uh, you can do, sir. This is in concurrent, this is this the is, state uh, subject. Correct. I understand it's a uh, state subject, but it perhaps is. if the vision were to come, uh, you know, from uh, the central government, a larger sort of uh, body right. set up, a central... You, uh, you are very right. ...window clear and this, this issue is uh, very much under discussion and uh, uh, in the Fiki frames a uh, couple of weeks ago in Mumbai also the said, come up. And Ministry of INB is very seriously looking at this as to what pathway should be taken so that it is uh, it made to happen because those regulations actually need to need to go. Correct. Mr. Sippy, where do things come to a knot? In your experience of uh, uh, working with the government, uh, whether it's at the <coughs> state level or at the center, where do things <coughs> sorry, fall apart in that sense? I think it's because it is a state subject and then uh, not just the state government, it's local bodies also that get involved. It's a very complicated uh, matter. But as you said rightly and he has accepted, uh, the centre can somehow throw light on all the states, like we are, have done something very difficult, we are bringing in the GST. So if that's achievable, why can't we achieve the next thing that is an, has an all India? GST's problem was very similar. The same things happened, but it has taken so many years yes. to finally bring it around. But now that has been done, that should be set as an example. If we could do GST, let's, uh, let's do it on as many important things as possible. This is certainly one of those, and I think if the government puts its head and heart, and I'm, there's no reason why they would not. I have not heard any negative attitude from the government. They really want to do this. So I'm sure uh, if they encourage the local, now a lot of the governments are also uh, the, uh, with the center. So therefore it will become easier. And they're able to start in those few states, even to begin with, the rest will follow. They'll see the advantages of it and will follow automatically as a matter of course. Okay. In terms of uh, bringing you in, Mr. Claxton, uh, you've had experience of uh, working in India uh, and working in many other parts of the world, uh, albeit on the television side, content production, uh, right? Whether it's film or it's television, uh, you know, that's just the language differs, but the work remains essentially the same. How would you uh, compare the services that are available in India? Uh, to other parts of the world? What can we do uh, as a service industry? It's an entertainment industry, but essentially at its core, it's a service industry. What can we do here, perhaps, to uh, up the ante? Well, I think that, you know, first and foremost, I think the, the rest of the world, I, you know, I can only speak from it from an external point of view, from outside of India, from very much a UK perspective. And I think we, we certainly look to India professionally within the industry across television and film um, with huge respect 
for the way in which the Indian marketplace has developed over a very short space of time. Uh, and really high quality productions coming out of India in every which way. So I think it's a, a, it's a fantastic story in terms of the export value for, for India. I think where it gets into difficulties is I think that you would find that a lot more companies want to come and make films in India if they felt that the bureaucracy that they had to cut through was going to be actually somewhat simpler. Uh, I think uh, there's a real strong willingness, uh, definitely by drama producers, uh, by television companies, by movie companies to want to come here and shoot, uh, where they can there they can get excellent production values, fantastic um, talent based here. Not just I'm talking about the acting uh, talent, but I'm talking about the technical talent as well. So I think that, you know, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tricky area because I think that um, India is, I mean, you've touched on so many points here, um, that um, Bollywood notwithstanding, I think that um, uh, India has a, an amazing opportunity to be able to uh, produce uh, many, many more art house films and many, many more what I would call generalized entertainment um, uh, stories uh, for, the, for the world market. Uh, and, I, and I think uh, bring it on is what I would say uh, and encourage thereby more people to want to come and film in India. You might just take the example of the film industry and Mr. Sippy, you might correct me here if I'm wrong. It's a $2 billion uh, odd industry. Insignificant sort of amount when you look at how big Hollywood is or how big uh, the UK film industry is or even how big China is now. Uh, we've opened up uh, the film industry in that sense. We've had uh, the biggest studios uh, from the USA uh, over here in India, but that hasn't done much to expand uh, that $2 billion market uh, into its real potential in the realm of, you know, $15, $20 billion. Why has that uh, perhaps happened, you know? Why haven't we seen uh, that expansion happen in spite of some of the biggest studios uh, now running, uh, you know, the show here? Um, I think uh, we, as an industry, need to introspect as well. One must say it very honestly. Uh, we are continuing to make films. The grammar is changing, the people's tastes are changing. We have to keep that in mind, obviously. But uh, other than that, we need to bring a change within ourselves. Why are we not, if America's second largest foreign exchange earner is movies after defense, why is it that India making the largest number of films is not the largest turner or the second largest turner. It, it defies uh, logic. And the answer is simple. We are not making enough product which has world appeal because India alone cannot give us that. You have to remember that Hollywood has moved all over the world for the marketing. It's gone across, it's cut barriers of language and everything, you have to salute them for that. They're great at marketing and they've done a fabulous job. Instead of feeling bad, let's learn from them and do something about it. Let's break those barriers, let's do those things, and we do need the government's guidance and help. And uh, the changes in their uh, uh, bureaucracy, which as uh, he's rightly said, there is a welcoming change, it's happening, we need to encourage that change. We need to take it further to help us to achieve all, all that we need. We have plenty of talent. What would you want the industry to do, uh, for instance? You know, what are the initiatives that the industry might take uh, at its own level uh, so that the government can then facilitate what else needs to be done? See, I think industry has already done a lot because today whatever footprint you see and the soft power that India has somehow created, a uh, lot of credit must go to Indian films. Uh, because India has been known for that soft power, which is films, literature, uh, its heritage, yoga, right, traditional system of medicine, wellness, Ayurveda, all these things put together, they create that soft power that India enjoys. Uh, but as Mr. Sippy very correctly said, that you reach a threshold, and to cross that threshold, you need introspection. 
and this is perhaps time for the film industry for government for all stakeholders all of us to to actually do that introspection and cross that threshold to reach a different level because technology is changing so fast that you can't wait because otherwise others will move far far ahead and you need to catch up hollywood will swallow bollywood <laughs> let's talk about uh, where you see uh, television going from your onwards a large part of your career has been dedicated to producing content for television uh, so you know television kill the radio star what's going to kill television well look i think there's a huge future still for television obviously um i think what it really comes down to is is that you know television in its own right is having to adapt uh as is everybody in terms of sort of the new technology and so on and so forth um but i think that you know it comes back down to you know drama factual whatever kind of medium you're in i don't think it we're suddenly going to sort of see the end of that in 10 or 15 or 20 years time i think that uh, i think that um uh, technology is upping the game i think production values are going to get better and better and sharper and sharper um and i see actually there being a really interesting situation um if i go back many years uh, the barriers to entry for people to make films uh, the barriers to entry for people to make television um uh, have all come down and i think that's a really really exciting opportunity uh, and i think the future is going to be very very many more what i call publishers um and uh india not less no no not least in all, all of that i think uh, uh individuals can now start making their own programs their own films and what have you now obviously you know budgeting and all the rest of that no we're standing um i think people are going to start getting a lot more sharp about business practices i think people are going to have to start looking at business models in a much more acute sense in an acute way of how they're going to actually get the revenue back how they're going to you know and and i think more and more companies will get involved in investing in in product um uh, and in ideas and i think it's really exciting period actually i think young people have got um huge opportunities ahead of them uh in terms of being able to uh, innovate uh, and use the technology around them to come up with things but again comes back down to the bottom line what's the idea uh what's the idea i think that's a wonderful note to end on thank you very much for uh, joining us today